here welcome to db2 luw tips and tricks video tutorial part 65 in this video tutorial i am going to talk about how a load utility consumes huge transactional log space this slide talks about the problem and solution so the problem scenario is we want to demonstrate how a load utility will consume huge transactional log space the widespread idea is like load utility is a minimally logged uh, utility so the transactional log space should not be very huge when you run uh, load utility when you compare it with import for example but um, that is this that is the uh, uh, problem scenario here so we are going just going to demo how it is the load utility uh, is consuming huge log space so for that we need to first understand the various phases of the load operation uh, the first phase is analyze it will be used only for column organized table so we'll just ignore that uh, there is a load phase this the load load phase is the actual phase in which the data from the del file which you are going to load is written into the table pages so that is a load phase and uh, it is during that load phase right the the transactional log is very less uh, uh, next is the build phase so if you are having any indexes on that particular table the indexes needs to be rebuilt so whether you incrementally rebuild or uh, all that comes into the picture but that is the build phase okay now this is the next phase is the delete phase so delete phase is the one very very uh, important one uh, because this is where we miss out okay so uh, the delete phase will delete all um, unique constraint or primary key violated records like for example in the load phase when you load it load the data right it just loads the raw data into the table pages it doesn't do any constraint uh, validation like that right so in the delete phase what will happen is if there are unique constraints or primary key violations uh, in the data that is loaded those records will be deleted so for example if you are having like 100000 uh, records in your del file uh, and you are loading it and you are inserting that particular data and already there are certain uh, uh, certain uh, records available with conflicting uh, unique uh, keys like that right so what will happen is it will go and the delete phase will go and delete all those data right so uh, the delete phase is a very very um, uh, you know it divorce your log space so that is the the primary thing here okay then the last phase is the index copy phase which is like if you if the index is built using the temporary table space it will be copied so if, if the index is built within the same table space where the table resides then the index copy phase index copy phase will not even occur so the delete phase is the important phase which divorce the log space so that we need to uh, understand here okay and uh, we can even think that there is an option save count right but uh, the save count will be used only for establishing consistency points for the load operation it will not internally issue any commit you know like it will not commit records for example like um, the import command or the ingest utility comes with a parameter commit count so once you lay, load some 10,000 records or import some 10,000 records a commit will be issued internally right by the utility so that's why the transactional log space will be lesser okay uh, even though the import utility or ingest utility runs you can you at least have the option of commit count to keep your transactional log space under control right whereas if you use the load utility and you are having lot of unique constraint or primary key violations then you know the minimal logging concept is not applied okay it it just divorce log space so uh, so what is the solution the solution is to use import utility with commit count or ingest utility ingest utility in particular is a very uh, new utility that is recently introduced in version 10.1 and above i think and it is super fast so uh, and also high concurrency level it also provides high concurrency level so either go with import with commit count or ingest utility or the first thing you, you should do is use load only on valid data sets like uh, you know like uh, if there are a lot of unique constraint and primary key violations in your del file right then then probably you should be thinking of replacing the data right you should not be inserting the data uh, try not to use something like because the load utility will not do any uh, update kind of an operation right so uh, it depends on the data set so make sure that you use uh, valid data sets when you when you load uh, using the load utility 
or you have just you can simply if you feel that yes you have to use only load utility even though the data set is con containing lot of uh, redundant records then probably you should go with uh, you know increasing the log second uh, CFG parameter like provide the transactional log space right so okay so let me just give you a demonstration as to uh, how this behaves okay so here I have started the instance I have updated the test database with log primary 8 and log secondary 0 just for the demonstration purpose so I have only 8 primary log files okay I'm connecting to the test database I'm creating a table RESRC with staff ID as a not null uh, uh, column and I'm also adding a constraint on the staff ID column it is a unique constraint okay and already I have loaded uh, the table with del uh, del file like RESRC del file and it is taking uh, uh, like there is already records in the table okay I'll show you yeah 31,718 records are already available in the RESRC table I've started I've connected to the database okay now what we'll do is uh, we'll import the data and we'll try to see uh, how how the transactional uh, log uh, behavior is there right so before hitting enter here and the list applications I have given it is 7 so I'll run the DB2 PD utility okay. okay. Okay, this will uh, this command db2 pd hyphen db test transactions app equal to seven. So this is going to tell me uh, how much of transactional log space that particular application is taking, and I'm going to repeat the command for every every two seconds. So you can see here the log space, right? That is what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to hit enter here. So it's going to import uh, some huge amount of data. Okay, and uh, all the data is going to get rejected only. Okay. So you can see that uh, uh, the data is getting rejected okay all the data is going to get rejected only so you can see here see 71 kb 1.4 mb uh, 2 mb okay 642 kb 1.3 mb 2 mb 642 kb so you can see that it is going down right because the import utility we have used the commit count so it stays under 2 mb uh, see 1.35 2 MB 617 KB you're seeing that right so that there will be a reduction look at this number okay watch this number right okay so 1.582 8, KB right so it will it will go down okay so it is you can see here it is processing all the records okay so I'm loading like 150,000 uh, records into the table like uh, 150,000 records into the table it is going to take a lot of time uh, okay, but the transactional log space is staying under uh, 2 MB right you, you will see now 301 KB 961 KB 1.6 MB 183 KB 8, 800 KB uh, 1.5 6 60 KB 714 KB 1.36 MB 2 MB so it has reached 2 MB that's it 386 KB it will come down actually okay so it won't hog up so even though it is running like uh, every record it is the the constraints are getting uh, you know violated here so it is spitting out the constraint a load utility will not do that it will load everything and after that only it will go into the uh, uh, this one so okay now it has run actually see 150,000 rows were read all of them are rejected because everything is violating the unique constraint okay so uh, everything got rejected but it did not hog the log space that is the important thing it did not hog the log space now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the same thing but this time I'm going to use a load command okay uh, with save count as thousand okay I'll enter this so let the load utility begin I'll do the uh, transactions uh, the same thing right so let the load utility run ok let's see where it is started yeah the load is running ok it's taking some time so you can see that 17 28 kb 
फोर्टी वन के बी फोर्टी वन के बी सो आई डू वन मोर थिंग ऑल्सो हियर आई गो डू अदर थिंग आई से डी बी टू सॉरी डी बी टू लिस्ट यूटिलिटीज शो डिटेल ओके you can see it is in 41 kb it is in build uh, build phase right see load phase it did not took that much log 50 kb right 128 kb 184 kb 272 kb 336 kb so see now the build phase also got completed right That's it. Six seven seventy one KB. So after the build phase got completed, now it is in the delete phase. So all those violated uh, records, right? They are getting deleted, right? So when they are getting deleted, look at the log usage, right? The transactional log space is really huge. It is it is increasing. Okay. So three point nine. Oh sorry, no, it's not three point nine. It's thirty one MB. See, it has taken thirty one MB to delete those. 150,000 records for loading them into the table it took only like what 500 kb or 600 kb but for deleting those records it is taking 33 mb and it is not even taking 33 mb you can see that i got the transaction log full error right so the delete phase i don't know why it is logging so much of information for the delete phase because uh, everybody knows like a load operation is like a uh, non recoverable operation right that anyways if you are going to uh, uh, restore the database after a load operation right using some backup image then the table is going to be marked as invalid right then why it is doing so much extensive logging during the delete phase i am not sure wh why it is doing that but uh, yes so the load utility when there is a constraint violation it will hog up your uh, your transaction log so always use valid data sets go for um, usually you, we replace data only when you when you do the load utility right uh, you either use like uh, insert when you when you use insert make sure that you are not going to get constraint violations and otherwise you go for replace data right uh, don't insert data with a data set or a data file which is having a huge number of duplicate records right so that that is the learning here okay and also like i i still don't know why it is even though uh, yes we accept that but still why there is a requirement for such a huge transactional logs log space for the delete phase of the load operation so uh, maybe that is that is me so i don't know so probably uh, if i get some comments on it that will be great okay any case hope this information was useful to you that's it in this video tutorial um, see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye